In November 2013, Viktor Yanukovych, the president of Ukraine, announced that his country will not sign the association agreement with the European Union. This decision of not signing a document which implementation could bring Ukraine closer to the EU provoked a massive pro-EU protest organized mainly by students and most active part of the society. Then, after the Eastern Partnership Summit in Vilnius and the brutal action of the riot militia Berkut against students on the night of 30th November 2013, a new wave of protest which gathered several hundred thousand people in Kiev has risen. The decision of the Ukrainian authorities to use violence against the protesters on the Maidan makes it almost impossible to think about any compromise between the President Yanukovych on one hand and the leaders of political oppositions on the other hand. It puts additional pressure on the leaders of the oppositions who will be uh, forced to represent the anger and frustration of protesters and the Ukrainian society. In my opinion, the situation is very dangerous because if Maidan was to stop trusting the opposition and, for example, start suspecting that the opposition is conspiring with the government, we could be faced with a very troublesome scenario in the Ukraine. I wouldn't call it a civil war, but rather a constant destabilization combined with assaults, bombings and so on. It really looks that the oligarchic system which existed in Ukraine in some other Eastern Partnership countries is uh, simply not efficient. And it was the reason why people are standing at Zero Maidan. It's a middle class and civic society asking for their space uh, on the political scene. The civic and Ukrainian societies really are well organized. They are capable of securing the Maidan in Kiev and attempt to organize themselves outside of it. It appears that the civic society does not fully trust the opposition, and I suspect that this is also somehow caused or provoked by the government. The government wants the civic society, or Maidan, to not trust the opposition leaders, and in turn, the opposition leaders seem to have problems with speaking in a unified voice. If the opposition leaders are not able to formulate the demands of Vaidan and the opposition, the chaos will most likely be in favor of the government and continue to disrupt the balance of power that still exists, albeit in an increasingly weaker state, between the opposition and the government. Really, opposition is trying to uh, change the places with the, with the authorities to start the ruling, and society want to change. So there is a, some uh, disconnection between them. So there are some conflicts between the, for example, for, uh, with the protesters and opposition because opposition is making their own game. Society is trying to have something much other. The uh, civic society doesn't trust the political elites. The political elites elites are interested uh, basically in pushing their interests on the national agenda and the government is basically supporting the uh, political elites, uh, simply the oligarchs. So, situation is dynamic. The opposition politicians in Ukraine, they already learned their lesson that without the support of the civic society, they can do nothing. The Ukrainian society is nowadays divided. On the one hand, we see these people who are supporting the pro-democratic changes that are uh, protesting on Maidan, but on the other hand, we see the people who still support the Yanukovych regimes and they do not want any changes. Even those who are not supportive for these ideas that are mm, expressed on Maidan Nezależności, uh, they feel they should discuss with that. You know, this is a kind of start of very important discussion in the society. Uh, but and this is a very important discussion the main point of which is this is our country when we ask what are you most afraid of they openly state we are not afraid of more bloodshed but we do not wish for it we know what we want and what we are fighting for and we wish to achieve it as peacefully as possible but our biggest fear is that we are going to win and nothing will change 
I believe that under present circumstances it is necessary for the European Union and other members of international community to impose whatever sanctions are possible on the perpetrators of the violence within the Ukrainian government and those who give them both political and financial backing, including the President, Yanuko President Yanukovych, his family and the oligarchs who support uh, his power.